yo, yo, we in the place to be. Ro P and Ali D, this is Mavs Inside, and we're funky fresh. Yeah, everybody, it's totally awesome 80s night here at the American Airlines Center. We're so excited because Ro and I just happen to have these outfits in our closets, and we finally get to use them. Yeah, that's right. Totally and you know what? Awesome. We just love it, and it's radical, it's bodacious, and you know what yeah, else? Tubular. Uh, these Mavs dancers, they're totally awesome, and you know what? This whole show is dedicated to the dancers, right? That's right. The dancers had an amazing calendar shoot this year, and this calendar is gorgeous. You're definitely going to want to pick one up. But for now, why don't we totally meet the rookies? Yeah, let's do that. Rookies, right now. I'm just really happy because this is my dream. I want it to always be a Dallas Mavericks thing too. glasses and an old baseball t-shirt. It was really, really cute. They used a lot of cool different props and I laid across some bleachers and stood up on an old school uh, Coca-Cola machine along some fences. It was really neat. Walking in with 300 girls trying out that are all beautiful, have really amazing dance backgrounds, was pretty intimidating, but it was also really, really fun. You did so good. It was okay. beautiful. Those were the rookies. We'll totally meet the veterans next on Maps Insider. Congratulations to Dirk Nowitzki, player of the week for the second time in three weeks. The big German averaged 25 points, nine rebounds per game as the Mavs defeated the Warriors, Nets, and Jazz. And get this, he shot 70% from the floor. Welcome back to Mavs Insider. It is totally 80s Wait, 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 wait. hold on, Allie. We what? have to pause for a second. We do? Oh, awesome, bro. Love it. Got to get my soul glow right, you know. <laughs> now, we just checked out the rookies, and they were all cool and everything, but, you know, I kind of right. like the veterans just a little bit. They more fresh. All right. Well, should we check them out? I think we should. Let's do it. My name is Lauren C, and this is my second year with the Dallas Mavericks Dancers. My name is Camille, and I was a dancer in 0506. This is my second year returning veteran. That happened. Jenna Z, and I'm a four-year veteran. My name is Whitney. This will be my third season with the Mavericks. It pushes me to be better. Um, it pushes me to do things that I didn't have to worry about in previous years. Before, I mean, I was with the veteran, so they were worried about me. But now I'm the veteran, I have to worry about them. 
When we come back, we introduce you to the new director of the dance team, Mallory Mills. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Well, when David Lee Roth left Van Halen, they were looking for a new leader, just like our dance team. Oh, yeah, that's right. You know what? Just like the Rock Steady crew are breaking, Mallory Mills is the leader of our own Get Fresh crew called the Mavs Dancer. Let's check her out right now. With Rick Renner. The NBA's hottest dance team will have a new look this year. 14 new dancers, 16 that weren't even on the team last year, and a new director, but familiar face. Boom, this arm right here, your right arm, push it down. It can't be floating. This is not a floating move, and this is not a floating move. It's a hit and a hit. This is my first year on the opposite side of it, so it's it's, been, it's overwhelming a little bit for me because now that I hold all their destiny and dreams in my hands, it, it is emotional because you know I was in their shoes before. So I know exactly what they're going through and I just want to make sure that every girl gets that opportunity to show me what she has and show me her passion. Start down and then it's down. It's like down. I can remember when I was still in middle school going to a Mavs game and seeing her out there and then all the way through high school, just seeing her and she always just stood out. There was something about her, a sparkle in her eye and her dancing was always just so superb that when, she, when I heard that she was the new director, I was not shocked at all. Mallory started dancing at age two and was a ham for the cameras not long after. Fox Forge knew she'd be a superstar and so did her family because every day she was bringing home some type of trophy or ribbon for something. A three-time national solo dance champ, Mallory went from drill team captain at Rowlett High School straight to the Mavs dance floor at age 18. She was the youngest on the court by three years, dancing the most important Mavs spot, point. Yes, it was a lot of pressure with me being so young and everyone being older, but I loved it. It was a challenge for me and it's, you know, it's completely different dancing on high school and competing and then going to an arena and you're like, oh my gosh, everybody's looking at me. So at first I had a few bubbles here and there, but I got over it. It was, it was really a great opportunity. Everyone knows that the Mavericks dancers are the best in the NBA. They're always perfect, no mess ups, no mistakes. Um, Mallory was always front and center. You know, everyone knows who she is. She's amazing. She's an amazing dancer. Um, I actually went to high school with her, so I always watched her on the court, so she's pretty good. <laughs> For 12 years, choreographer extraordinaire Shella Sattler put the Mavs dancers on the map, funded a dance studio that trained Mavs dancers with star search money danced with MC Hammer and Run DMC, and took the conservative Mavs dancers to another level. Her protege, Mallory, is ready to take them to the next level. I've worked for, for years and years, and then to actually be so lucky to actually have it come true, it, it's amazing. It's an amazing feeling, and then to actually pick my first team this year. <laughs> I mean, it'll be, this is a one-time thing, and I'm just very humble and excited about the whole process. She actually inspired me to become a Mavericks dancer. And then when I made the team, I was just excited to be her teammate. And then I became her friend, and now she's my director. So I'm just excited to be under her right now. I think it's actually better that Mallory is a director because she actually understands what we go through. I mean, Mallory was in college and attending prep classes and going to practice and also, you know, going to work. So I think she understands the stress level that we're under in. And I actually like that so that, you know, you, t you think a typical Mavs dancer, you just think a lot of hair, a lot of smile, a lot of makeup. But when you get close up to us, you actually notice that we are from different cultures. Nobody wants to see this. That's when your shoulders are really tight. Open your legs. Boom. And I got to see this. Arch your back and got your butt. I think already I'm seeing a different style and I'm seeing a little bit more spunk to the team. So I think that we're going to do great with her as a director. Jenna, you want to go with that last group of shorties? My first time stepping out on that court. I'll never forget it. And I'm just excited I can actually help these girls have their first time on the court because it, it's a moment you can't take back and it's a moment you'll cherish forever. And for all those random fans that show up with Hug Me Mallory signs. I'll be on the sidelines with the dancers and I'll be around on the arena the whole time while the dancers are there. But if you ever hold up a sign, I'll definitely come up and say hello and give you a hug. <laughs> 
Mavs fans, get ready for the Normathon December 27th on Sports Radio 1310 The Ticket. Tune in all day and you can have a chance to win the Mavs Best Seats in the House, presented by Fox Sports Southwest, 1310 The Ticket, and the Dallas Morning News. We'll be right back. Next week, another special Mavs Insider for you. It's the holiday edition. Ro and I will be joining you from Six Flags in Arlington, and we'll take a look at everything the Mavs are doing this holiday season in the community. That's next week on Mavs Insider. Hey, welcome back to Totally 80s Night here at the American Airlines Center. Me, Ali D, and hanging out actually with, it's Rose and Paul Star. It's Mr. Soki Johnson. That's right, Ali. And you know what? I got something special I want to show to you. It's Ro. And he was at the calendar premiere because it was big time. It was funky fresh. And we're going to go to Rose room right now. So, Ro, take it away. Yeah. Um, you ready for your close up? Fine, so you don't have to be like super serious. <laughs> you can laugh a little bit. Okay. Can I hold this up for visual aid? Yes. You're on the back cover. You didn't get a specific month. Are you upset that you didn't get a specific month? Oh, not at all. I love that the back and you get to see the ladder because that was the point of it, the effect of the ladder and me being so high. OK, I'm going to bring it into the picture for the visual effect. Now I'm here with the cover girl, Miss Rachel. Hello. Hello. As you see right here, so so how do you feel? I mean, are all the girls jealous because you got on the cover? No, absolutely not. They're, everyone was really happy and congratulated me. I was really happy about that. <laughs> look at you, Rachel. Man, you you do what you want to do. They always tell us to look at you, but you're right here. Man, you you do what you want to do. It's showtime. I don't know. I'm okay. I'm, I'm looking at this picture. First of all, it's magnificent. How are you feeling about it? I love it. Oh, okay, we're back, we're back. Okay, hey, hey, this is Ro Parish. Now, now Miss Kenley, I have to know, are, are you pleased with the month that you are given? I love it. I am September. Miss Jenna, yes. high five. Woo! Okay. I think it fits with the picture. I think it does, too. It's very <laughs> nice, I might add. Well, you got June, yeah. Jenna, June. Yeah, I got to go together. Hi, my name is Ro. I don't think I, like, officially met you. Okay, I'm looking at the picture right here. What was going through your mind when you were taking those shots? Um, I was nervous, and I was trying to think of how to place my face and hit my body and what to do and where to look and when to breathe. Now, Bonnie, you're Miss December, correct? I am. Is there any other month, you know, maybe you have a favorite holiday? You're Miss January. Yes. So what are your New Year's resolutions for the people at home? I'm going to stop biting my fingernails. I'm going to have to say Valentine. I love February. Are so. you are you the hopeless romantic? I am the hopeless romantic. <laughs> yes, you got it out of me. I'm sorry. Well, that's it for this totally 80s edition of Mavs Insider. But next week. It's a holiday party! Ah, uh, that's right, a perfect holiday. Christmas is coming up, and you know what? This is the perfect gift. So go to Mavs.com to get your dancer's calendar. That's right, next week we'll be at Six Flags, and we're showing you all the fun holiday community stuff the Mavs have been doing. Well... Uh, but you know what? It's time to get into Reunion Arena. Check out Ro Blackman. Check out Brad Davis. I can't Check wait. out James Donaldson. Let's go in the arena. We'll go see Mavs. you later.